Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for June 2nd, uh, 2024. Uh, really good weekend for finding stuff. Uh, there were so many sales Saturday. Um, found a ton of stuff. Uh, this is actually going to be a two-parter. Uh, going to do the jewelry separate. Found so much jewelry. Uh, I was, it's been pretty dry up to this point, uh, jewelry-wise. Uh, but Saturday the floodgates opened and it was just everywhere uh, at good prices. So uh, uh, be putting out a video probably tomorrow uh, about the uh, the jewelry finds. Uh, but I got a lot of other stuff to show you. Um, some good prices. Uh, it was nice that the weather finally uh, cooperated and uh, people were anxious to get out and sell their stuff. So uh, let's take a look. I'll show you what I got. Uh, first up, got a Dyson. Uh, Dyson V6 Animal. Uh, with the attachments and the charger. And uh, walked up, ladies asked the lady how much. Uh, she said $10. She's like, but it needs a good cleaning. I said, does it work? I said, yeah, she, she said it works. It just needs a really good cleaning. Uh, she's like, I tell you what, five bucks. So I figured, well, even if it doesn't work, five bucks. Probably sell the charger and the, uh, the attachments and get more than that. Uh, but she was right. It was the entire end here was just packed full of uh, dirt. I mean, no air could get through. So I took, took the roller apart and uh, cleaned it all out, and it works great. Uh, it's really amazing. So I got a Dyson in great shape for five bucks. On the other end of the spectrum, <laughs> about as old school of a vacuum as you could get. It's an old GE uh, vacuum. I got it for uh, five dollars. Um, General Electric cleaner. Model AV30. This is a cool looking piece. I haven't plugged it in yet, but uh, imagine vacuuming your house with that little thing. Uh, just unique. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like that. Uh, built like a tank. Uh, got some records. Records aren't my thing. And I should know better than to buy something outside my comfort zone um, but here's a Beatles love me do for five dollars there's a uh, eight days a week um, for five dollars uh, can't buy me love uh, she had 15 and a Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer uh, for three I got everything for 20 I thought that was pretty good but they're not really bringing a whole lot I guess because they made millions and millions of these things uh, and condition of course is um, a huge determining factor I asked the lady I said did you buy these uh, back in the 60s she's like yep I bought those uh, she just thinning her stuff out uh, got a Makita uh, saw circular saw uh, 20 bucks. I mean, it's a little dusty in there, but this thing is like new. Uh, I think this will bring somewhere between 80 and a hundred dollars. Uh, of just very good, high quality. Uh, the one also got from this guy, I uh, got a uh, central machinery, machinery, uh, mini lathe uh, for 20 bucks. Uh, they're selling on eBay right now for 400. Uh, keeping that one myself. I got it all the way down in the workshop and I didn't feel like lugging it all the way up here. But, uh, uh, pretty good deal on that. Uh, Lego Venom for, uh, five bucks. 
Uh, hopefully, all the pieces are there. Uh, Raven scoreboard, five bucks. This is the same lady that had the vacuum. So five on a vacuum, five on a Venom, five on a Raven scoreboard. Uh, take a look at the uh, lamp, light fixture. Very mid-century modern. That is such a cool piece. The problem is, look at the dirt all up in there. I gotta find a good way to clean that without its fabric underneath there. So, gotta clean it, but yet keep it intact. Uh, paid 25 for that. So, uh, I think I can get really good money for it if I can get it clean. So, I uh, have to try to take that, that shade off and uh, maybe soak it or squirt it down or try something with that. Um, oh, also from the $5 lady, a $5 bin of uh, Star Wars figures. These are pretty new. They're like Galactic Friends uh, Star Wars. So, not worth a ton of money. Here's a regular Darth Vader. Um, I'll probably put them in one or two lots and uh, um, sell them that way. Uh, probably get maybe 30 or 40 for the whole uh, whole bin. Uh, lesson to be learned down here. Uh, a dealer friend of mine who I've known for years and bought a ton of stuff from. He knows I resell, so he's like, got a deal for you, got all this Baltimore Colt stuff, he's like, the stickers sell for 20 a piece, the uh, uh, season tickets uh, booklets go for 40 a piece, he's like, I'll give you everything, and I was, I was holding this little Whitman's chocolate uh, treasure chest really cool kind of like a treasure island or something it's like I'll give you all the Baltimore cold stuff and the treasure island thing $80 so I'm thinking okay you figure uh, one, five, six, seven, uh, seven stickers at 20 a piece that's 140 180 220 260 plus a couple other things 80 bucks sounds pretty good then I get home and look and well, the stickers are only bringing 10 a piece. The stubs are lucky to bring 20 a piece, so that kind of hurts. Uh, so I'm looking at 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, plus the hassle of listing everything, a couple other things. So uh, always check always check I don't think he deceived me on purpose but uh, sellers always look at their stuff through rose-colored glasses and uh, it would have only taken me you know uh, 20 seconds to uh, look something up on uh, on eBay to see the value so lesson learned um, no matter who they are um, trust but check uh, got two coats. This is British Army uh, jackets. Love the camo. It's a great camo. I, I look, kind of like that better than the uh, U.S. Woodland camo. Uh, paid uh, $15 for the pair. Uh, not quite sure what they'll bring. Got a SKS uh, chest ammo pouch. Got that for $8. that will bring around $25. I uh, got a U.S. military M1 Garand uh, ammo ammo belt. Uh, paid 20 for that. I'm gonna keep that for myself. It's a uh, Korean War era. Got a U.S. Army general purpose bag. Uh, paid 10 for that. That's about a 40 dollar bag. Uh, the holster is a Safari Land. It's a left-handed, which is gonna uh, make it a little harder to sell, uh, but I got it for 20 bucks. It should bring around uh, 50. Uh, the knife is a good one. It's a Benchmade uh, 
from what I can tell, it's rare. A Greg Thompson paid 25 for it, and that should bring around 100. So, good one there. The helmet, I believe it's late World War II, maybe Korean era. Uh, but what makes it is the snap here shows that it's a it was a uh, paratrooper helmet the chin strap uh, snapped into here where the liner snapped into there uh, to help everything hold into place so got a huge dent in it you know was the soldier wearing it when it got shot or is that just uh, you know some kid took a hammer to it uh, we'll never know uh, but not sure what that'll bring I paid 40 for that uh, check it out this is uh, Larry the Lion by Mattel from 1962 let's see if I can get him to work here Didn't quite catch that, Larry. Let's see. I'll step on you. <laughs> All right, so he works, and uh, he's a little dirty, but uh, neat story with this one. Uh, bought some stuff from this guy, and uh, the guys, as I was walking up, the guys saying, "Yeah." I bought, I pulled all this stuff out of the dumpster, and I made 150 bucks off it already. So, I'm looking at this. He's like, "Yeah, I pulled that out of a dumpster yesterday." I say, "How much you want?" He's like, "Give me 20 bucks." So I gave him 20 bucks for it. And uh, the box is coming apart. I'm gonna try, see what I can do. Maybe a little bit of glue on there to, because uh, the box really helps make it. Uh, my guess is this stuff was sitting up in an attic somewhere and uh, somebody just went to clear it out they threw it all in the dumpster uh, same guy I got the bows from it's a really nice Indian bow in a JC Higgins archery set the Indian bow uh, should go for around 80 the archery set there's one on eBay right now for like 150 but so I gave him it was uh, 40 for the bows 20 for the line and as I'm walking away he's telling us uh, he updated his price he's like yeah I pulled all this stuff out of a dumpster yesterday and I've made over $200 on it so far <laughs> um, Yoda paid five for him that came from a five dollar yard sale uh, haven't tried him out uh, he's not gonna bring a whole lot of money He's missing his lightsaber. Uh, the box is kind of interesting. Martin Marriott, uh, Martin USA, uh, the aviation company, says Martin Turret on there. They made turrets. Uh, neat box, paid uh, 25 for that. Not sure what it'll bring, but Martin stuff is very collectible. A uh, piece of Roseville, uh, paid 20 on that. Looks like uh, Daffodil. And uh, I'm reaching the end here, so uh, we're going to have to pick up the rest on part two.